What's good, Stop D Nation? Welcome to Carnival! It is time to get into the Carnival action today. So a lot has transpired today. Earlier today, um, uh, they mentioned on uh, Reddit uh, that the, uh, the the no points, no money for whatever bugs, uh, no money for bugs has come to a close. Um, so uh, the leagues have decided to start changing their names back to normal um, and sort of returning to the way that uh, the support of the game before. So there's a very kind of long, really well written article um, that kind of breaks all of that down and talks about all the different things. So obviously, and this was mentioned there, and we'll see this when we look at Carnival, things are not perfect. There is a lot of room for improvement still in the game. There's a lot of room for improvement in Carnival, but there's some very big points to note. The first one is that the communication has been really good. Carnival has actually taken a step forward. While I still think there's ways to improve it, it does look like a better promo than it could be. Um, they've also released like a guide to help guide us through this, um, tell us what we can get, and nothing is hidden. So if we go into Carnival, we'll break this down first. Let's do that. All right, so the events are now 24 hours. So once every 24 hours to not have that eight hour grinding thing. Now, uh, they have been replaced from, you know, some different events uh, using, uh, you know, Carnival Match 1, Carnival Match 2, Carnival Match 3 every 24 hours. Basically play three matches every 24 hours and then claim this free reward, which gives you uh, 30 of the broken mass. So that part still very similar, just uh, instead of eight hours, it's 24 hours. Um, but you can use those then to uh, claim a bunch of rewards and actually pretty decent rewards. 100,000 coins, basically you can get that over like 100,000 coins a day from playing through this one. So you're gonna get a lot there or you can save up for legendary boost, ton of boost. So this Carnival points offer is actually a really, really cool addition to this one. Allows you to choose kind of what you want to build up um, and, and build up, you know, do you want to build the skill boost for your team? And they're individually as well. So if you just want rare boost, epic boost, legendary boost. So that part I really like about the promo. And that's the thing, for a while, there hasn't been much good to say about the promos. Now we got some positives, which I do really like. So uh, the next thing you have is you have the masks part of this. Now. You can claim by the end free to play all of the Italian players and then some of the other players as well actually in there. Um, I believe you can also claim um, a lot of the players from France as well. So there's a bunch of players you can claim from there. Um, 30 points. I got three points. Oh yeah, 30. That's pretty good. All right, so you got 30 points on there. Um, I was like going through trying to figure out, like look at how many points out of case. So 30 points on there. Um, so in total you get about 1,680 points out of that one. Um, you can also go into the Germany masks. You can go into the Spain masks and you can go into the Brazilian masks. Now you don't have enough to claim all of them, um, but I do believe you actually get all the way up to Polino here. Um, you just can't get the Aderson card at the end, but you can get a bunch of cards out of all of the different ones because essentially what you're going to get um, is you're going to get yourself 1,600 points in each one of those, if you go in here, you're going to get 10 Brazilian masks for that. So all of the things are equitable for the World Tour, it just changes on which player. So that part I really like, you have a choice of which players you want to go for, and no matter what path you go for, it's going to get you the same amount to get one master player. So everybody, if you play all the events, will get Nyingolin, you're going to get a max overall increase, and you're going to get the Carnival logo. So that part's pretty cool. Um, then you can get Rashford, Dybala, and then Rivaldo, and this is the one part that I wish was was different. I wish there was some other way to get this card because this is basically like a $3,000 card. So one of my biggest feedbacks still in this is like some other way to obtain it. Whether it's like out of luck, uh, pulling it in a pack or some other thing to do in the 24 hours. Because that's the one thing that I still find with these events is once you play through the events, it, you have 24 hours and then what do you do in there? So I kind of like you know, the fact that we had stuff like the, the tournament and stuff, but I do think that if we have a bunch of different events going on at the same time, you know, uh, when League Heroes comes with the weekend tournament, uh, that will kind of add to it. So I think it's definitely a step in the right direction uh, with this promo. I like that part of it. But that's basically what we got going on there. And then you can, of course, open the packs for gems, 2,500 points in each one. You get guaranteed 35 broken masks, uh, which is nice. So at least you know you're getting 35, and then you can get an additional um, amount on there as well. So really nice that they're not hiding the end games. They're not doing any of those things, um, and they're kind of moving forward on that. So I am excited to see what's going to go on with this um, and, and see how we're going to kind of move forward on this one. But I'm going to bring up the breakdown of everything that you can get so you can see the free-to-play guide uh, that they posted and show you everything that you're going to 
gonna be able to obtain in this promo. All right, so they posted this on Twitter, Reddit, pretty much everywhere, um, breaking down the carnival information. So really awesome they have this guy. Did you know we saw this on NBA? We kind of put that as for us. It's like, this is a really good suggestion. Sort of showing what can you do in the promo? What are the different things? There's no hidden end games, uh, which is a huge improvement on zone. The communication has been awesome. Um, so as I said, I feel like there's still definitely lots of places we can improve on this, but this is a big step forward in this one. So how does it work? You play the events every 24 hours. You can play three matches, watch an advertisement up to three times. Um, ooh, you can watch the advertisement up to three times and claim a free pack to maximize your grinding. Um, and basically you play through the different matches. So if you play the three matches, you get 15 for each one. The three ads get you 15 masks and three carnival points and 30 broken masks and seven carnival points. So assuming you complete all of it, you get 120 and 25 points daily, uh, which is kind of cool in that one because you get so many different things you can use the carnival points for. Uh, 1,680 broken masks, 350 carnival points, which I thought was 10 for every 100,000. So you could get quite a lot of coins if you claim that every day. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can go through, you can claim different rewards there. Uh, so trading them in for uh, coins, uh, training experience, or any of the four boosts, and then convert the broken mask into specific masks. So the carnival point cost uh, is gonna cost you 10 for 100,000 coins. Um, the exchanges are as follows for the other ones, Italy mask, France mask, Germany mask, Spain mask, um, and you can see it kind of keeps that same level as you go through, but it's gonna cost you more for the different broken masks. So 10 for a broken mask, 15 for a broken mask, uh, 20 um, for the Germany mask, 15 for the Spain, and 30 for the Brazilian mask. Um, so it kind of changes and goes up with that one. And then each one gives you 10 of the mask as you claim that in. Um, so different ones are going to give you different amounts it's going to cost you. The first player is 5, 15, 30, and 50 for all of them. Um, and then you can trade that in on there. So basically the lower level ones you pick, you can claim more of the players, but the choice is really on you. Either way, you can get yourself that really nice looking Nangolin card um, and you can go there. So I like that differentiation in there too. I think that's an awesome addition to it as well. Of course, all the players except for Rivaldo are going to be auctionable, can get pretty high up in there. Um, so if you go, if you have 300, so we get 1680. If we do 300, we can get 56. So basically that gives you uh, just enough. So 45, 50, so you can get 50. Uh, so you can get all the way up to Paulinho here, which is really nice. And so 92 overall, if you want to go with that route, um, if you go into this one, 250, 250, it looks like you'll get about 67 there. So again, all the way up to Murata. You won't be able to get Fabregas um, because it's going to be a little bit too expensive there because you're only getting about 70, just under 70 points in that one. Um, moving on to the Germany masks though. The Germany masks, you can get 84, so 56, 70, 80. Again, you won't be able to get the last one. Um, so again, Schweinsteiger is going to be the highest one you can get for Germany. For France, France, you get 112. So France, 56, 70, 80. 80, 90. So France, you can actually claim all the players. You can get a 91 player there. And then of course, Italy, claim all the players. You'll have a little bit left over for Italy as well. So you can kind of do a combination of France and Italy together. Uh, France, maybe in Germany, if you want to go in that one, uh, you could claim all the first players. There's so much choice about kind of what you want to do in this promo, which is one of the things I really like about kind of deciding which player you want to go for. But if you're looking for just what's going to be the highest overall, going for the Brazilian route will get you that highest overall player that you can go with. And then of course, the World Tour, if you do everything, Everything, play everything, you can get yourself this 95 over 9 Golden card and then boost yourself up to a 96 overall. So all in all, a pretty decent promo. I'm definitely excited for it. I'm really hoping there's a hidden reward too. Uh, I'm really hoping there's a there's a like a hidden reward of like a kit that you can do that would be kind of cool I'm not sure if there's anything and we'll find out when we make our full squad um, But uh, we have the different packs we can go so we can do 10 broken mask packs um, I feel like maybe we'll try out there. We'll see what we get in this um, So if you're going with the packs each pack is gonna cost about 2,500 uh, From there and we'll go in. we'll see what we can get hopefully we can get some players out of here It's been a long time since we opened packs though. All right, here we go first pack First pack here, 70 broken masks. That's a pretty decent start to that one. So we got 70 broken masks there. Our next one, 20 carnival points and 35 broken masks. Um, so we can use that. We'll be able to see if we can get multiple uh, things out of that as well. So there you go, 50 broken masks. I will take that. Next one up, 50 broken masks again. I actually, these are the ones I look most forward to is not seeing two things because then I get more masks, which is what I want. 20 carnival points and 35 broken masks on that one. The next one up, we get 10 carn. Ooh, that's. That's terrible. That's a terrible one. I'm almost like don't want to see the player because I get ones like this. Another 70 broken masks there. Pack number eight, we get 50 broken masks. 
So not doing terrible on the Broken Mask. It could be a little bit uh, higher, I feel like, up there. Uh, be able to do a gem pack there at the end. We get 45. Ooh, that was a terrible one. Not only that, we only got Broken Masks out of there um, and didn't get high out of there. 50 Broken Masks, and then obviously our topper is going to be a 50 Broken Mask out of that one. So in total, we'll take 30 away from God. We got 500 and... 40 points that we got there. So 540 out of that one um, to go through on there. And I feel like probably, what should we start off with? I feel like I'll start off um, going and getting ourselves. Yeah, let's go with this route. We'll go with this route first. We'll claim our first player. Um, I think I will go Brazilian route just because that's probably like our best like valuing it. Although if I go back here, I could maybe claim, could I claim all of Italy? Let's open a gem pack. Let's open a gem pack and see what happens. Okay, gem pack. Five carnival points, 35 broken masks. One more gem pack. One more, oh, I don't have enough for one more gem pack. All right, one non-gem pack. Okay, let's see what we get in this one. We get 50 broken masks here, so we have uh, 655 points. Um, so we can basically get ourselves not enough to get all the way through those players, so I probably, I don't know, but I wanna claim more players. I don't know, I think I still will go this way, uh, so we can try and get that Aderson card. So we'll go with this here. We'll claim two of these here. The first one's gonna get us 10. We'll be close, actually. Actually, I think we do get enough to get Hulk as well. So if we go with our first one, we can claim one more here, claim our second player, and we should be able, actually, to get enough. So we get 10 Brazilian masks there. So the first one is gonna get us uh, Richardson here, and that is gonna be the 888 overall card. Nice look, nice looking card. All right, there you go. Great pace, too. Really nice pace on that card. Um, and then we'll also pick up Hulk beside him as our second player from here. So our first elite master cards out of this one, the central forward card, and then Paulinho's gonna be the next one, looking for 30 to try and get there. Um, so moving along our way on that one, we also can move over to our world tour. I don't think we're anywhere near claiming any of the players. 120 of 250 though, we're getting closer to it. We gotta do it like two more times, then we'll have enough to get this Nangolin card um, and uh, get some gameplay going on with him. So we'll go, we'll check in on our squad, uh, look at how we're doing and do some gameplay. All right, here we go. So we got both our cards on this one. I feel like it should be a pretty good lineup here. We still got the uh, 120 chemistry because of all of our uh, boosts. We got our 96 overall squad. I'm definitely excited to try them out in game. I guess that 98, 72, they got that Mane card. And they got Lozano. It's gonna be like a crazy match. Uh, lots of speed on the other side of this one. Mane gets there. Mane finds some room and buries it in the back of the net. All right, they're up early on this one. We're gonna have to put some work in to get back here. Nice work. Hulk puts it out to the outside. Goretzka, Goretzka tries to do a little bit of a step over. Can't get it going. We're moving back up again. One more pass out to the outside. Goretzka cannot go on that one. Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba up to Mane. Mane to Rakitic, Rakitic to Messi, but a nice stop there from our central defensive mid party. And it's gonna go out. There it is. The speed down the wing, the speed down the wing to the cross in the middle, but a beautiful defensive play, and we get it out. It's what we need to happen, William. One more, and there he goes. He's gonna try and, oh, I thought he could get through, and Hulk cannot get through the middle. Manny, Manny down the wing. Manny tries to feed in the middle, but cut out. We're back up again. Okay, here we go. Both of them have the roulette, which is nice. Nakata's gonna try and get there. He's gonna try and stay on it. He's gonna keep staying on it. Gets pushed around a little bit, but not enough to draw a foul. He didn't really go down, so that's probably part of it, too. A nice play here. Okay, here we go. He's pushing with them. He's pushing on it. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba feeds into the middle. We're putting some good pressure on in the second part of this first half. But we need a little bit of this a little bit sooner, I think. Nice play from William. William tries to feed it up. He can't get there. William's gonna step on this again. Can't get there. 43rd minute. Jordi Alba to Messi. Jordi Alba's gonna lose it. Nice play up. One more. One more nice play. 45th minute. Hopefully it's not gonna run us out of time. And it will. As we make the run on the wing. We were like close that time. Usually it stops me like at half. That was much sooner we got stopped that time. Alright, good play there. Let's just see how many people he can roulette. Nice play. Gets it to Willian. Willian can't step on that one. And they're gonna go into the middle. Get some, I should've just kept going with him. I should've just kept going. Oh, nice play there. 
Nice play there. One more. One more. Hulk goes with it. Hulk goes with it again. He gets into the box. He takes the strike. What a goal right there. That was the kind of play we needed. I was hoping for like a more like carnival celebration, but it is what it is. All right, there you go. A beautiful goal to get in the box. Finish that in the back of the net. We're tied 1-1 in this match right now. Manny makes his run forward. They're passing it back now. Moving that ball, moving around. Jordi Alba. Mane. Rakitic. Gets there. Lozano pops it up over the top. Come out, goalie. Come out. Come out. Come out. How many times do I have to push that button for him to come out? Petit. I don't know what happened, but I don't think it counted as a goal. That was interesting. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think they fouled us in the end. That's probably what happened. Good play there. Okay, Hulk. Nice ball control here. Nice ball control. Sees Willian on the outside. Willian goes with this one. Willian going to try and move it in the inside of the box here. Hulk gets there. Back to Willian. Willian can't get it off. Not enough. I would have thought it was a foul. It looked like it could have been. It looked like it could have been. Nice play to get it to him. Can we get... Oh, Goretzka. Goretzka from the top of the box and he puts it wide. We almost got one with both. We've seen great gameplay from both of them. Oh, they go short. They go short. Can you steal it? They go back to the goalie. He's going to run it out. He slides him. Oh, not enough. Not enough to get back possession. It could have been It could have been great. Oh, Hulk loses it. Jordi Alba. Willian. Oh, Willian. So close to keeping it in. Willian can't run. What is he doing? He wasn't able to get there. Willian again. That time we pick up the throw. Get it to him. Get it to him. Good ball up, one more touch. Oh, bad first touch. Not enough to get on that. It's probably looking like it's gonna either be a 1-1 or they're gonna get a last second goal on this. I don't think we get enough try. Oh, Messi. Oh, Messi put it out to the outside. What a play out to Mane. Can we keep this defense going? Mane's looking to get through, but great defense right there. William brings that up, and that's gonna be the game. A very well played match. I enjoyed it. It was a draw, but they played pretty well in this one, so I'm happy with it. Thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop deep. Ah.